Hey guys, Jimmy here today on Roblox. We're playing some more Lumion Legacy, as you can see on the screen right now. Also in this video, I'm going to go over all of the training points or TP in the game. So if you know what TP is, I really quickly, or what training points are, really quickly. If you have the um, the stats game pass, you when you go into the, your stats on your Lumion and go to training, you get these stats. So obviously you got your base. These are your base stats. So this just tells you what how what how good of a stat is on a specific Lumion. Your UPs, your unique points are similar to individual values or IVs from Pokemon, which I'll do a separate video on those in the future once breeding comes out on how to increase those. And TPs, so TPs are training points and are very similar to effort values or EVs in Pokemon. Obviously, it has changed a little bit since Pokemon Low um, for TPs. The maximum you can have on a single Lumion in their stats in total is 500. In a single stat, you are limited to 200 in every stat. So, for example, uh, you could go for 200 in speed, 200 in special attack, and then 100 you have left over. So, you could go for like health or energy, even to make it a little bit more tankier, or to give it to energy so you can use more moves before you have to wait or rest. So, that's like the basic basics of um, training points if you didn't know how they worked, but they're fairly simple. Also, um, the way that they do work low is that once your Lumion is level 100, every four training points equals to one stat. So obviously, every four TPs will transfer over to one of these stats once you are level 100. For example, since my Himber is only 40, it will only use 40% of my EVs, for example. So not also right now, not that good. But also, once we are in doing like PvP battles, which I'm guessing most of you are watching this video, because you want to do train, you want to do PvP battles. But once you're in training battles or PvP battles, obviously your levels are going to be either 50 or 100, uh, because you can change them in the in that to be that. So it's pretty much that. Anyway, let's get into it, then. So also, I'm going to be using the Lumipedia, and I have the Lumion Legacy like, Wiki up next to me, just to make sure that I can double check things and not get things wrong, but. I'll be using the Lumipedia, and also I'll be telling you exactly where things are located. For example, Twilight you can find on Route 1, um, and will give you health TP. So every time that you kill a Twilight, you will get one health training point. So there is that. So also, if you kept track, if you want to max out a, um, a training point in one stat, you're going to have to kill 200 single Lumians. Or you can make this go a bit quicker by using the training points. Also, the uh, Lumi Boost will tr give you three times training points. Very worth it if you don't want to spend all day or all week training. But pretty much, we'll start for the trainers then. So, Route 1, we have, I believe, is Daniel? Is it Daniel or Danny? Um, I think I'm going to quickly find it. Oh, it's actually called Daniel. So, Daniel on Route 1 is a rebattable trainer. I'm only going to go for the rebattable trainers because also the, some of them are pretty good to... Uh, Train for a specific situation. So, for Daniel, he only has a Twilight, which I just said, Twilight gives you health. So, every time that you battle Daniel and kill his Twilight, you get one health for your Lumion. Up next, then, will be Route 2, which is right here. This trainer right here. She has Slugling and a Twilight again. Slugling and Twilight both give you one health TP. So, every time that you kill her, you're going to get two. So, if you want health, obviously, come battle this. This is actually the best way to get health TPs in the game right now. And Route 3, there is one... What is her name, Lo? I actually don't remember. Her name is... Okay, her name is Elizabeth. She's that trainer right there, the second to last trainer, also standing in the patch of grass. The only trainer that stands in the patch of grass on this route, so she should be fairly easy to find. But she has a Babar and a Prope. So, also, Babar will give you one health. And Prope will give you one melee defense and one range defense in TP. So every time that you kill her, you will get a health, a physical defense, and a special defense increase. So again, probably not really that good for most people, but also it is the best way to train XP. But in case you want to battle laws for specific uh, TPs, I guess you can go for them. But anyway, let's go on to the wild encounters then. So then. Starting at round one, I guess, and oh, I guess we'll start with the Lumipedia. So, also, the um, starters you can't find. Some trainers do have them, but since you can't rebattle them, I'm not going to go over them. There's no real point, because you can't use them to train efficiently, obviously. Anyway, like I said, Twilight can be found on route one, and you can kill it for one health. Also, you can't find the evolutions in the wild, so just going to skip them. 
Next up plant is Cathorn. Cathorn is found in Route 1 and in Gale Forest. Every time that you kill Cathorn, he will give you one special attack or range attack. Next up is Prope. Prope can be found on Gale Forest. Um, when you kill Prope, you will get one physical defense and one special defense or melee defense, range defense, They're the same thing, just that people also still use special and melee or special and physical from Pokemon. Next up, Blend Cinemoth isn't in the wild, so next up is Twittle. You can actually find Twittle on every route except from two, Route 1, Gale Forest, and Route 3. Also, as you can see, Route 2 doesn't have a patch of grass yet. We're expecting there'll be a patch of grass up there like there was in Brick Bronze, but we can't go up there yet right now, obviously. So you can find Twittle on every route, and it will give you one speed uh, TP. Also, you can't find the evolutions, so next up is Pyder. Pyder is in Gale Forest. Only can be found at night, so somewhat rare, but he will give you attack TPs. Evolution is in the wild, so next up is Ansi. Ansi is in Gale Forest again, but only found during the day. This one will actually give you special defense or ranged defense, only one low. Also, Florence is in the wild, so next up is Grubby. Grubby is also in Gale Forest. He will give you one attack. And also, next up is Kuhn Eucopia. Gale Forest again. This one will give you one health and one physical defense TP. Terrafly is in the wild, so next up is Kleptike. This is the start of Route 3. Somewhat rare, but it will give you one speed. Next up again then is Babar. Again, Route 3. Pretty common, and it will give you um, one health. And then last but not least is a Get Claw, which is on again a Route 3. Really common, and will give you plus special attack. Also, I guess I should mention Duskit, you can find anywhere. Also, when you catch it as well, you don't have to kill them. If you do catch them, they should give you TPs as well. Also, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but really quickly, Duskit will give you one speed as well. But really quickly, um, if you don't actually have the XP share game pass, Lumians that you do not use in battle will not gain TPs. So these four shouldn't get TPs. I'm not too sure about bench though, because technically bench still get XP even without the XP share. So if you have your Lumians set to your, ben your bench, you might get training points on them even if they aren't used in battle. But I would suggest finding the XP share. It's definitely worth it and makes it easier to level up your stuff and also easier to uh, train your stuff. But that's pretty much it for the wild. Obviously, really quick, I'll go over like the easiest ways to um, get stuff. So, for example, if you want health as a stat and you want to max out health, again, this trainer is the best and the easiest way and the quickest way to get your health up. The next stat, I think, is energy. Currently, right now, as you probably realize, right now, currently, there's no way and there's no Lumians in the game that will give you energy TPs, so we'll have to wait for the next update for that, unfortunately. Next up is melee attack. Melee attack, I would recommend going to Gale Forest and killing Grubbies and Piders. Again, Grubbies is somewhat common. Piders is pretty rare, also at night, but pretty easy once you uh, get the hang of it. Next up is uh, physical defense. Physical defense is honestly a pain in the butt. I wouldn't really recommend you going for it unless you know what you're doing. Like I said, Right now there's only two Lumions that can give you de defense, and both of them are the Cocoons, which also give you either health or special defense. So my solution for that is if you're going to go for defense, you're probably going to want health as well. So I would say max out your health as well, and then just go for the um, Coon Eucopias. They will give you health and defense. But if you're already maxed out your health, you're just going to get the defense. It's going to be a long time, because also then you're going to have to kill like 200 of these Coon Eucopias, but... And they are somewhat uncommon and rare to find, but if you want defense, sorry, but it's a, it's a pain in the butt to get. Next up is range attack. Range attack, I guess you could technically do two ways. You can go to Gale Forest and kill Cathons, or you can go to Route 3 and kill Get Close. I'd pick the Get Close ones, they feel like they're more common to find. Next up, next up is special defense. Again, this one also is a, a little bit of a pain in the butt, but a little bit easier. Also, Gale Forest is your best bet here, and to kill Ansys. Ansys are only found in the daytime in Gale Forest, so again, it is somewhat rare, but they only give special defense, so again, it's going to take you a while. And last one is speed. I would recommend going to, um, again, 
Twittle can find anyway, but I would recommend going to Route 3 and killing Twittles and Kleptikes since they both give speed. So that's pretty much it. Obviously if you want to go for like specific stats, for example if you want to go for speed and attack, go to Gale Forest, you can find Twittle, uh, Grubbies and Pydras if you want both of those stats. If you want speed and special attack, I would recommend Route 3, also Twittle and Kleptike for speed and get close for a special attack and stuff like that. So hopefully this video helped. Um, like I said, right now we don't have anything for energy. Hopefully in the next update with Route 4 and whatever, um, hopefully we'll have a an, an Lumion that will give us actual energy TP. That would be very, very nice. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave off here. Hopefully this video helped you. And like always, I'll see you guys next time.